Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag is in the joint, where every day is payday baby. You're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Meet the Flying High. And we have uh, the match day one of the uh, Continental League Cup, Manchester City take on Everton uh, here um, at Everton Stadium. Here's Everton's lineup. Uh, I mean, the big man that honestly stepped out to me was uh, Tony Duggan, if that's Tony Duggan. Uh, and uh, we will see how Everton does. I think Jess Park was on loan at Everton, so, you know, that's, I hope they did well. I hope they are all right. Uh, I was listening to a little bit of the their commentary, a little bit. Uh, it says... Um, uh, their that. lineup for Manchester City. It says, um, Only two players remain from the draw with Chelsea on Sunday as the teams come out of the oh, tunnel. Oh, here's City's lineup. Here we go. Sandy's in the mix. Steph is in the mix. So Sandy McKeever uh, Laura Coles. Gary Fowler. Dana. Morgan. Clark. Kirsten. Big Bunny Shaw's back. We have uh, Mace and Julie in the lineup for City. So, a different look, City. Honestly, yo, I'm really excited. Yes. I just been really excited for City. You know, I I enjoyed the game against I guess against Chelsea, but I'm just I was just thinking about them yesterday and the day before because I saw that they had played on Wednesday. I'm just getting such a good vibe from the ladies. And um, like I said, I just think that their experience everything was uh, playing at the World Cup, all the players that did leave and come back, it was just a feel just a re a, or another reset uh, for this city team. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do this season. I'm really excited for them. Uh, I don't know why. I just really am. Uh, <laughs> now, um, I'm been tweaking with a lot of things behind the scenes. Uh, I hope she's an ultimate winner. Well. You know, whether it's anything but, um, if it don't, the pitch, on the pitch, she wants to win and she'll do anything. She's the ultimate professional. So, you know, I'm sure again, I, I wasn't really liking how some things were sounding. She's got and, big uh, contributions throughout this season. That starting 11 is quite strong from Manchester City. I think what Gary yeah, has also done with, with heavy rotation is giving himself we a strong bench. Going. They will be favourites for tonight's game. But if, if things aren't perhaps going to plan, there are plenty right, of experienced players, quality players on that bench that, that he can call on. Exactly, and that's what your bench sure is there is. for. You know, so you have the starting Happy Friday to and everyone. you have the finishers that come on, do the job. They've been watching the game, watching the opponent's weaknesses, strengths, and, and what they can bring their skill set, how they can really, you know, stop and exploit the, the opponent. So that's what... I'm you know, watching you know, this match. She's called upon, that's what they're looking to do. As for Everton uh, themselves, City who are in a huddle City at the TV, moment, again, City you can TV. watch their game live. City TV City have Plus. a TV channel. Uh, tonight, or, you know, we have app. Half of the field Not the app. To the left no, no. Side of the website. Line as we look at it. in there. Royal blue shirts. What's going to be their game plan? But I think they've, they've been playing a 3-4-3 system, which is quite unusual in the WSL, um, especially the way they play it in possession. Which, you know, they, they like to have the ball. Oh, they like to let's go, ball, let's go, which let's go. And um, against the city team that it is Friday, to so a, I may come, come back the, live a little bit later. I want to continue to tune into the league's app. Y'all have like, from the league honestly really to the leagues that I really haven't watched and I haven't dedicated time to. It's, so it's even though uh, uh, I'm behind a couple know, weeks, uh, I'm gonna look. Bayern Munich uh, seem to be the team because I know their names the more than their anyone. The formalities, We're going to try to uh, tune into uh, match day two uh, for Bayern and then, because I think they're on match day four. I think match day four well, is this weekend, so if I can catch up, you know, we halfway there, the uh, I think we'll be all right. Uh, she um, brings, but Everton will be left to right in the first half as we look at it at Walton Hall Park in Liverpool tonight. Okay. Royal blue outfits uh, from uh, Brian Sorensen's side. As for Manchester City, Everton Gareth Taylor's team, they're in the white shirts. Apparently Everton haven't uh, right gotten any points. Just of late, but it's only been two matches. But, against discrimination. You know, 
Now you have the Plessity. I feel like as well. Everton. Bunny Short, who starts I'm not saying that I don't know how their confidence levels are. But I know City's confidence should be really, really high, no matter who is playing. Um, and they want to continue to build up the momentum. And will undoubtedly want to start things off we will in see. the right manner tonight. The ball is playing. And played already. Out uh, towards that I think so. I'm guessing Julian Preston are going to play enough. To see what they can do. And fullback. Influential against West Ham on the opening day of the WSL season. We have Lord yes, Hoops star in the middle. Tonight. We have, uh, and here's Esme looks Morgan, like Morgan in the middle. No, 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 no. Morgan's out here. Okay, Morgan's playing center back, maybe? It looks like Julie's in the middle. Her early days at Manchester City her, in a natural pack okay. center back. Okay, so it looks like Morgan's playing left back. Julie is playing that middle role with Dyna. Actually, with Hayley Mace. I mean, Hayley Mace. Ruby Mace. Of the game. Ruby Mace. You can see how oh, my goodness. They have, where they she have is. the tactics. You know, all you different. Are play different they have all you different. They have all different. You need to be able to know what's expected here. of you. Fully understand that role. Horton plays it across the uh, back line for now. Manchester City playing safe to begin with, feeling their way into this game using mm. Casper I. Horton and back to uh, Morgan again. On this near side with Laura Coombs back to Horton as City. Still yet to really venture across the yeah, halfway line, tactics, but already trying to encourage it uh, forward. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, different you know, lineup, different in, everything. The ball, Honestly, it's like a, a whole new City eleven. Like especially with Bunny up top, not saying it's your to best start starting eleven. But you know, we, oh, the ball, we do have Bunny. The she got, did she get tripped from side to side and set the tone? Emery Fowler out here to the left. Went Morgan and okay, okay, okay. To, uh, it's always interesting to see the young players. Well, like Julie, she's still young. She's Manchester very young. And she's like Mary Fowler, too. Very young players. And, and Hayley. And, 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 why do we call her Hayley? Ruby. Mace. Jess Park is out there, too. Oh, goodness. And it will be. An Everton goal kick. We've played yeah, two minutes. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been all Manchester City. City. Now this City is the test in what they do here. Do they kick it long and away from their own goal? Uh, or do they try and play it yeah, out from the back part, themselves? The, the, the well, Brian Saracen likes to be a ball possession team. You know, he likes to try and control the games uh, as well, we, move we the ball. That gets his City team, team. It's real hard. It's a top here. task to do to, oh, like, to, to, you know, to deliver the high quality that's needed to get through the lines. Well, they have played it out from the back, and successfully so. A lot of touches here for Everton, out towards the right-hand side. The ball okay. played down into the chamber, um, looking perhaps for uh, Alyssa Ahern there, the Manchester United loney, but uh, oh, oh, runs shit. all the way through for McKeever, and it's easy enough for Manchester City to start again as Coombs just drops deep to offer that little bit of support. She is... Bro, how did my headphones connect to those when I had it connected to something else? She gets the ball back as well. Towards the near side, plenty of space for Sorensen to try and get the cross in as cross steps. Uh, on this occasion, Julie Blackstad in the left back position. And Esme Morgan is the outlet there for Manchester City. Back with Sandy McKeever in a six yard box out towards the far side. Horton can stride away. It'd be a really interesting battle on this right hand side with Sorensen versus Blackstad. You know, Sorensen's got such great delivery on the run and she's a real tough player to defend against. But Blackstad on that occasion was up to the task, but physicality wise, they match each other up quite nicely. Bunny Shore offside. Two goals in three League Cup games for her last season. As once again, we look oh at God. the space that Sorensen had and possibly she tried to take Blackstad on, should have just got it in the box. City come forward. An opportunity here, here to, find money to get the shot block. away that is cleared away by the Everton defence. Jess Park getting involved. And now There's Fowler Allen. takes over. Lays it back to the edge of the box. Coombs is there. City have plenty available in space. Blackstad, left footed cross towards the back post and Bunny Shaw's header. Has very little power behind it and it's an easy save for Courtney Brosnan in the Everton goal. Yeah, good, real okay. good positive start, isn't it? Winning the ball back. Wheeler just turns it over but crosses into the box. City again, short, Fowler. Here's their first major opportunity to try and squeeze it in, but uh, the cross is blocked and takes all the power off it. And it comes again to the near side, nil nil with five minutes play. Morgan. Okay, let me see. Sweeps it across and in plenty of space, Kirsten Kasparai can just nudge the ball towards the corner of the penalty area. And it's Jess Park again, another low knee. 
from Manchester City to Everton as recent as last season. Manchester City have won the ball back, they're on the halfway line. Blackstad. Footy ball, easily picked off by the Everton defenders. Now they've got to play their way out of trouble. You can hear this. Well, I heard the City chants that I'm trying to to the Everton for a throw in. supporters. On the left-hand side, Bjorn involved there in the Everton defence. Manchester City throwing Blackstad back to Morgan. But Morgan will be one of the furthest players back for Manchester City. He's a good 20 yards inside the Everton half herself. And Horton keeping guard inside Manchester City's territory is always going to be an outlet. And here's Kasper I on the right hand All side. Right. We go rock out. But it's just a matter of patience, isn't it? Moving we go the rock ball, out. Trying to find the space and that Very quality foul. Out, out to the wide players. I think honestly, I think Mary does just look good on the wing. You know, I was always saying she's a midfield player, but I do think she's. I do think she's able to to create some things outside of the wing with her. Um, just some of her ideas of how she wants to help the team. The chance before, wasn't it? Bunny, Bunny Shaw's decided to take an opportunity first time. Just good blocking. There's that many players in the Everton back line. They get narrow. They get a bank of five. And with the different players, I'm not too sure, like, at, at practice, how they play. From the angle um, the but it's going to be interesting to see Everton. where the ball does go to, like, who's Morgan. able to score the goals, especially. I, I, I feel they would be looking towards Bunny. But it's not Bunny. I'm trying to think who scored last time. It was Hempton Kelly, right? Was it Hempton Kelly last goal? Uh, well, who scored the equaliser by the first goal? I'm trying to remember. Against Chelsea. Not started perhaps as brightly as they want. Beaten by Brighton on the opening weekend. And it was the first goal. This weekend, Manchester City starting with four points, mate. Possible six. It was uh sure taken well on the chest. It was Chloe Kelly. It was Chloe right Kelly that scored the ball. Here's Morgan. And like in a way like I'm, we've been saying it because we're having a lot of tournaments, because we're having a lot of new tournaments. Um teams are having to have a deeper now i'm not saying we're just having to see teams you use their full roster which is really good for the team and for the players in general and us as the observers because you know dominating the opening eight minutes or so that's you just get to see different players you never know what player can help and any you know you never know like you play uh, like has the clutch gene you never know what player you might see um have some attributes that you never seen before or just in general they, they, they're the perfect player that you need so here's uh julie i like okay julie in the middle now you know okay fowler just weaving away past and with city you have to know it's no it's not that mean like with this team out here city this city team right here out it's not big name players like that like it's not you look at who we have, you have Jess Park, who's been with City, you have Julie, you have um, Mace, you got Kirsten, you got really, really young players for this city, Mary Fowler. Uh, I guess the new gens, I would call them the new gens, the next generation of uh, footballers. Here for City a little bit. So Pip is a part of that, but she's pretty well established because she's just played a lot. Uh, she's played a lot of football. Scoring her first ever World Cup goal in the summer. Mary Fowler in Australia's 4 0 win over Canada. A second season at Manchester City. As the Everton faithful try and back their side, they, they might be called upon tonight. Throw into Everton. Referee just saying, get back a little bit. They throw it into their own half anyway. Nice interchange of passes on that far side involving uh, Claire Wheeler, one of the more experienced Evertonians in the squad, but overplayed, overhit. And it's an easy one. For and Sandy, uh, uh, Sandy already getting a look yeah, at the ball too. She's the only they, Gemini you know, here they want to stay on City. The spaces in but between. anyway, she's getting a look. 
Uh, so we've had both goalkeepers already make their introduction. Uh, so we, we, we only go, I feel like the only player we haven't seen is Robo. She's the third goalkeeper right now at the current moment. And, um, Demi Stokes, I believe, she's still with City. And, uh, Layla was the only player I didn't really see on the bench and the and side to Demi. So I was wondering, I know she, we know she missed that match because of the red card but i don't know what happened in practice uh and then i just saw when i logged into city.com he get he uh taylor i gave a, a, a roster update for uh build and develop perhaps on the left for manchester city in this game everton have it for now though galley the first ever italian to become professional from her nation when she joined Everton. Oh, right here's Bloody. Tried to help Jamaica beat Canada. Off, but um, chance at it. Just didn't work He's out. Casper I just about. Canada just had too many more up. threats than Jamaica did, you know. Match official on that far side, right in line with it. Here's Casper I again. City play it certainly tight to the. Uh, this part the is the perfect player to play against Everton. She has to know some of their, uh, you know, pinpoints on what they worked on. She did. She didn't end up staying uh, that long at Everton because she ended up picking up an injury, so she had to go home early. So I wish she was able to stay out a little bit longer, but she was scoring for Everton, which is really good. Um, you know, maybe not but I'm happy to have well her back. And they're the moments that City are looking to exploit. This is another uh, a wide player on the wing. And she's she's technical. She's small, you know. She's small. She she's plays with her feet. Uh, but she's she looks like a, a rocket. She's like a she's like a top like she's like a tinier Jackie. I feel you know. <laughs> and I mean Jackie uh Jackie from Tigas. That plays over Mexico. That's that's kind of what I see in Jess Park. Because Jackie plays on the wing as well. And definitely goes for the attack. So, we'll come back at them though with Manchester City. There's Mace. Once again. Mace was playing. Mace was playing uh, in the center back role when she first came to City because we had lots of injuries. Um, Y'all yeah, remember? Y'all yeah, remember? And uh, okay, very very fast. I ended up getting that touch, keeping it in towards the corner flag. We'll use Coombs. Blackstad has made a run into the channel. Challenge oh, comes Julie. Julie's Julie is very strong in the midfield, so I can, I can, Julie's very strong in general. Right? You just kind of see how she puts. She uses her physicality a lot. That's something I noticed uh, when she first came. Uh, very physical. Uh, but yeah, those balls into I was talking about Mace, when she came from Arsenal, so they had her in, in that center back position. And then I think something happened where she was ended up playing in that CDM role for a little bit. Um, and then I swear she went on loan last season somewhere, so I have no idea which, what position she was playing in, what she was doing. She'll know she's in a battle tonight. Um, Bunny shot. Plenty of goals as we are all too familiar with here at Manchester City. She want to start her account. I, I'm still, I'm tonight, still in a general, like, unfamiliar with. Was, uh, not to say I'm, not unfamiliar, I'm just like, I still don't know what their technically their best position is because they kind of been playing in places where they needed to because they are they had limited numbers. Um, and and then you look at where they play for the national team. Well, Julie played with Norway the first time in the Euros on the flank. I mean, on, on the flank and defensively. And I think at the World Cup, I think uh, I don't think she was starting. I don't think she started. Did she start? I'm, I'm trying to remember. Did she start, Julie? I think she did start for Norway in the World Cup on the on the flank defensively too. But um, she scored a lot of goals for City, at least five last season. So. Olison didn't have those options to shoot or pass. Still City not sure what, what some of these players' best positions are, just based upon you know yeah, I think what players are there. already in those you positions know, again, it's the in general, when you like out so now. Of the ball, you need to concentrate on every pass, every technical execution. Make sure it gets there with the right precision and weight, because you know they're the moments that Everton are looking to pounce on. And we'll gain confidence from as City go 
with an ambitious ball down the right hand side easily dealt with by Courtney Brosnan there goalkeeper the American for West Ham there's Blackstad and uh, uh, I remember when I made the video where there was like we had like 11 new players that had never even played for City before. Now it's a lot of the ladies' second year, so it's like of Walton Hall Park this evening. You know, first year he did all right. I think Walton City were in fourth place right last Kasparine year. Kasparine Still missed Champions League. She did well to but and then she is seemingly fouled. Yet referee agrees. Manchester City. <laughs> I guess there, there's really no buts, really. <laughs> got away with that one a little bit, Kirsten Casper either. There's, there's really no buts. So, but I think it's pleasing her reaction. You know, if you do make a mistake, and well, a lot of these girls can say that some of them out there like we weren't even participating. So now some like, so, like, like Mary Fowler didn't really play. I'm like, oh, Bunny was there. Let's see. Very nearly the reaction combination there sped up the play. Coombs into Fowler, Fowler into Shaw, but Everton just had enough in the way. Look, they're really looking dangerous. Look, a lot of, listen, side, all those three players Coombs, right there. Fowler is in that instant. Laura, you know, Bunny, and Mary. All I was, I was thinking about like the energies of, of the team again with City, and I was like, man, you know, a lot of aqua energy, like heavy aqua. If he, if he continues to play, um, like Hasegawa, Kennedy. We'll look back Bunny, the halfway line. City are going to send Mary, it to the penalty they're looking for sure with a flick on header. It's a lot of aqua energy, oh, and I have. I feel that, like I think, City. Really. That's in favour. I mean, that's and, really uh, good energy to have for your team. Um, because again, of, in general, the new the new energy that we're moving into, just in general, like as that. as a collective. But then, as a football team, I think that helps. Having similar, a lot of the players share similar energies, and like I told you, with the addition of Jill. Pictures uh, the addition of Jill to City, I feel has. You know, remember we were talking about. I felt like City needed a, another world class striker, or we needed a, a world class manager. Getting Jill to come to City, I think, definitely helped the ladies that were already here. Um, I would say not their commitment their to City, play. but just I like think, their belief. You know, the, They're like, oh shit, well, Jill ago, wants so to come play here. Side, she's a good like player. She can really, really help us. She's played with this league before, so I do. I don't. I feel like this signing of Jill was super important. And I think it really did. I think the ladies do look up some look up to her, or they see her as an equal. Yada yada yada. So I think. Fine. She was a really good signing yeah, for City. Um, and I'm really happy that she's them. here. She's she's got tours. She got tours energy, and I think she helps. Just the pressure on, and that's in that, ooh, the giveaway. Oh, that Diana here. Oh, that Diana. That Diana. And a big opportunity. It is. Oh, can the girls score some goals, please? This has to... Listen, Dana, you got to score this season. I want you to score so bad. Like, oh my goodness. Like, didn't she score? I know she scored uh, last season. But she's got to score more than this. She's got to score more than this season. I feel like... Um, man. Her potential has not yet been unleashed. And when it does, I honestly don't even know what to expect. She's a fire sign, by y'all. She's she's like she's a, she's an Aries. I honestly don't even know what to expect from her because I feel like I haven't seen her at her best. I know I didn't watch her when she played at Atletico, and then all the matches that we got to see her with City, it just wasn't there. Like I'm like, oh my gosh. So. Hopefully, they're able to figure something out this season. I don't even know how she's feeling about her performances. But in my observations, I feel like there's a lot more within her. Um, you know what I mean? And I do think maybe it could be how City play. But it's her. It's going to be her second season too. So you have. To, I really, you really do got to give the players like that space but like, I'm still adjusting and that shit's new you know <clears throat> you ever moved from Spain to England I haven't
Four-team group this for Manchester City with Everton. Liverpool and Leicester also in there for Gareth Taylor's side to negotiate. The winners of each group progress. And then the best runner up two press. also. A little bit. Across the five groups gets to the knockout stage. Arsenal, Manchester United and Chelsea qualify automatically. Okay, good ball from Kirsten to find uh, Bunny here. Good, 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 good so run from Bunny inside the, the box. For Still has it. Looking oh my goodness, she got another one. She's going to cross it. She does. Ooh, there we go. Jess Park. Easy tap it. Let's go. Scores for Manchester City against the club she was on. Good ball from Kirsten to find Bunny. Bunny it's buying time inside finish. the box. The defender couldn't get the ball from her. And, and drawing Manchester a lot of City's attention. She gets the cross. You saw two players at least. And it was just Park, the, Le the Libra. Right there getting her goal. And she didn't celebrate because she played for Everton. You saw that? You saw that? You all saw that, right? Come on, you can celebrate. Right? You, you a citizen. You a citizen, Jeff. You a citizen. You part, you, you part of us first before you know. But I respect your loyalty. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate your loyalty. It's always those players that play for the forward team that stab you in the heart. At least she did it in the heart, okay? Not the back. So you got to give her props for that. And then she didn't want to celebrate. So, you know. Hey, that's that's class. Uh, that's a Libra. A good finish from Jess. Like, just... Ah, real nice. You see no celebration, no celebration. You see no celebration, no celebration. That's part here. All right, City up in the 21st minute from Jess Park's goal. Assist to Bunny Shaw here. Welcome back, Bunny, and welcome back, Jess Park. Yeah, I think so. Um, good recognition from the city team. I one think, zero. Know, from the back Apparently, more it's more only going to be a three-round um, group stage, to the press. and then we'll see what happens. City, so you, city have to make sure you know get the you three games. It's, it's not that many. Make sure you get as much points as you can. And you don't know who you're going to face if you do get through getting out of this this group. But it's a, it's what you want to see. Played it off. City up uh, one nil in, uh, here. Natalie Bjorn. So goal kick to Everton. Again though, Here's, there was uh, a huge Julie. bucket of space there for Laura Coombs. Yeah, she's great at identifying where that space Mary is Mary here. and whether she's needed, and, uh, you know, Laura. under the ball or or slightly higher in the pocket so she can make those runs. You know, but she certainly you know has a brilliant game rec 360 game recognition where she needs to be. Everton are giving it away again. Short. Coombs. Here's Mace. Castellanos. Okay. Got a shooting the shot on from tonight. That one's over from again. Nena. A little bit further out than her first effort, but there's a, an element of confidence there. She's got the there. power, man. She's Don't got the power. She looks like she has the... And I think she's certainly got a good show reel of she wants to score goals, so she has that so attitude. It's just got to be, you know, her. The first one she had, she was falling down inside the box, right? I feel like that was probably going to be more better, more advantage for her because she was at a closer distance. But it looks like Everton keep turning the ball over close to home, so that's that's bad. Castellanos with the cross in, sure will check. Yeah, that's bad. Um, now, can City. Uh, Capitalize. Everton deal. A reprieve for now. Fowler. Fowler's crossing. It's over short. Looking for Jess Park, Mary Fowler there. Okay. And, <laughs> here's another thing, too. What I see with the players that they have out there. Deep uh, in their own half for now. Just conscious bounce. It does look like Nana is getting a little second, bit more so time on the ball to too. First. The, in a way, she's having to be Park more of a uh, a combination Kitzel. player because you uh, Haley Mays, Park, Park the, the Dana, in, sure like I said, stretch. like Blackstad was lurking in there as well. Who's more of the creator out of those three? Goes but up, if, I think, on the if Park is on the wing, side, you have so Dana in the middle. She can kick. probably get on the ball. Because usually it's Hasegawa that's playing. So usually probe, she's, the, she's usually the initiator for like City in the middle. Earlier, sure uh, certainly got a tough job. She's been marked and they're either trying to find Jill so or I'm trying to think or even Dana because it's usually Hasegawa that has to start the engine. Oh. Some skill there from Everton, but she can't find her teammate. Horton, who a minute ago was 10 yards or so inside Everton's half, got back there, provided the 
in uh, in the I think it was the first match that we had kind of saw City would go to like a back two, like literally would go to a back two and have both their wings, what I guess both their fullbacks playing in the middle because I I saw right there on the little on that last replay uh, when Morgan got the ball and gave it to Steph. Uh, Kirsten, she was literally in the middle, like right in front, or kind of diagonal. She wearing the number 18. She was like in the middle of uh, the field. Oh, not in the middle of the field, but like mid halfway line. Uh, so I saw a little. We saw a little bit of that uh, in the first match, and honestly, the Chelsea match, honestly, didn't City get a red card? It's yeah, City got a red card. Chelsea should have beat them. I don't know how that didn't happen. But, you know, I feel like I don't like games like that because it's too much controversy. Uh, the referee gave, like, 100 Brazilian cards. And uh, those matches, should that's not something you want to observe as an observer. And I bet you that's not a match you want to play. So, overall, first big clash, Chelsea and City, was trash. It was trash. It was trash. It was trash. It was trash. Like, we got to see the official, t but she didn't do that well. Um, but in general, it was trash. It was a trash first first big meeting of those two teams. And I mean, now it was made me mad as well because they were at City. And now when they go to Chelsea, it's probably going to be a different match. Um, but hopefully City can get the three points. I'm already looking towards the future, but... The first it's match for Strat. Like, I don't know anybody else. Just too much. Oh, Oh, good layoff. Oh! That's, they know it's there. Uh, good pass to Park. Slow, slow, give it back. And uh, Everton, what were you marking them? She was open, little, 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 little. Pretty good way to ball through, but in your post. It looks like it was deflected. Get the corner kick. So this is Morgan here, giving it to Mary. She keeps it in. Very, very... Very foul or something turn. else. Like I think you know, lucky balance could have fell, found, and then she know, found she's too she's a good player. No, I tell you, these these aliens got another opportunity. Yeah. They're the different types of crosses. I, I, that we this alien brown or something tell you they see something we don't see. Black black sometimes the on the ball field, you know, and sometimes you know, well, maybe people, maybe people are not impressed by that. But a good punch as well from the Everton goalkeeper. That was a touch. She was on the sideline. City so played, deserved a second goal, that little turn from Mary Fowler alone, I think, on the touchline. Coombs could be in here for City. Blackstab from the corner has worked away into the middle now to try and influence the play. She goes Yeah, you know, what I really like, like, what I really, really like about top. this City team right now such is that we have such good players that are good really on the ball. Deserve. Like, Something that is, cause Julie's good on the ball, uh, Mary's good on the ball, who else is good on the ball, I enjoy seeing, um, then who's another one, I feel like, well, Hasegawa, but, with, um, what, what I've seen was, even Kirsten kind of see, showing us she's, she's, she's gotten better on the ball, we got Jess Park there as well, uh, Gives chance and they're creative and they're creative they're over. like have a, have a talk with their teams. Their yeah I'm good on the ball and I guess that's in the general it, it may go hand in hand a player that's good on the ball would there. would be a creative well, I think, I think player probably, right you know, or or maybe do we not see it like a player that's that, that is technical but they don't really have any ideas to like I'm not saying, I don't, but, I don't know, know if that goes hand in hand. Just feel like the, the but it probably does go hand in hand. So I just feel like the second goal is City are different. I do think the, the addition of Mary Fowler which they're attacking, has you know, changed a faster, me so sure a little bit in the good. And of course with Jill. But I think with Mary, I'm trying to remember. I wish I just, I can go back to my other commentaries just telling y'all how like, how cool she was going, like how great she was going to be. And I remember when I made that video about her, her signing for City, how excited I was. Um, maybe I'm just, it's just the excitement is still here. pictures right now, but I imagine to the other side of the halfway line from where Brian Sorensen is, Gareth Taylor's certainly got probably a more relaxed team. Okay, so I'm guessing we had a lot of hydration break. I think they can be super happy with the the start you know to make nine changes you know it's going to take time isn't it it's not an excuse it's just what happens even though you train with each other day in day out sometimes you don't have the left hand side or play in the center with with those players you know you might rotate a little bit for five minutes in training while if, during an 11 v 11 but 
you know, to have a competitive match that matters, a pressurized situation, you know, to have to go and produce. You know, it just takes time sometimes when you well. make that many changes, but they've been totally in control and could be two, potentially <clears throat> three nil up so far. Shout out to everyone tuning in. I know it's like, it's 3.30. It's 3.30. I know, I'm watching City. Just a I mean, wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, I wish I had, like, been live with them, but I guess I wasn't available. <laughs> we, I was not in alignment, for sure. Um, okay, so after that little break here, uh, once again, City up 1-0 off the... Uh, Black yes, here. Park goal. Oh, so three oh, different goals. I mean, we've had like three different goal scores side. already. Like Kelly, him, City have won a throw through that hard work um, Jill, and now Jess. Four game. different goal scores for Tying City in the, in the first two, first three matches, third. which is good. I think, um, and also like for, because we're in the beginning of the season, the just to have four different players right. put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, and you look around the league, I don't know how many goals people are putting past other teams just but for City, just to know like, hey, we're back, we're scoring goals. Um, and, um, and yeah, good turn from Dana here, she crosses it in. I just think, uh... City certainly got the beating of Everton in those wide City areas. should be in good spirits, good, you know, very good spirits, good spirits. bit of skill or combinations, a give and go, they certainly have got the space and the technical ability to beat and get round them, get behind them and get those crosses in. Very entertainable too. Manchester City it seems. The scoring with Jess Park in this game. Winners of the League Cup in 2014, 2016, 2019 and recently 2022. And they beat Chelsea 3-1 in the final at Bramall Lane. Arsenal the holders. Galley free on the right there for Everton. Couldn't get the ball into the middle. Concedes. So throw into the Toffees. Everton finding some holes Galley though. Again. <clears throat> Galley vanting forward. Out towards the right hand side. Wheeler. Wheeler in the middle. What? Doing magic. Everton enjoying the ball for a little spell here. Certainly their best period of possession. Olison over the top, asking for the run to come from Bahava Mets. Makiva. Okay. <clears throat> Sandy just clears it right there. Oh, 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 oh. Bahava Mets wanted to use Bissell and quite uh, feed it through. The uh, Belgian midfielder of Everton signed in the summer after a couple of years at Reading. And Man, good in. passing with Everton. Straight at number eight. Who is this? It was Ooh, anyway. this the Around the the last couple of minutes, Everton. I mean, she was there. Changed it up a little bit, and it's provided them with possession. We don't really get to see her offside until if she is offside until the picture here, but she's not even in the picture, so we can't technically can't see shit. So, but you're right. Certainly the best spell. Best possession. Look, they look that didn't show us anything, but that was, good. You know, and, and then we didn't get the replay on the shot, how, so how the game. I guess that's the flag a, was up, but we didn't even see that, you know, Van <clears> she was close inside. in though, you know, the shot Mary kind of saved it pretty casually though, so, I mean, Sandy, Mary, I mean, Sandy, City will want okay, to just park in the ball over the top. The that was from Steph. Oh, she Parker. gets past the tackle because the defender missed. The defender. Still just park it for Bunny. Quite connect cleanly with the shot. He could have wrestled back control in that moment. Blackstone and Ollison battling for it on the edge of the penalty area. Ten minutes to half time. Ooh. Manchester City won't let him, but can't keep it in play. Mary there. There with Mary Fowler, so going to Everton. Can't keep it in. Away. Manchester City win the throw in.
Sloppy Sloppy for Mary. But you see a lot of the city players back. Mace gets to it. But the pressure here. Any loose balls at Manchester City have given him. Alyssa Ahern there couldn't help the play. Now so it's a the night center. match here uh, where Everton plays. I want to know what time. Match probably started off at maybe 7 because it looked like it was already dark. Morgan. Just cut off. Go forward, but just ran into a little bit of traffic. Yeah. Oh, she she claims to got hit in the face. She's down. Galley stayed down from that little tussle with Morgan. And Physio's being waved on by the referee. What do you make to that? Well, again, it's a it's a good reaction from Esme Morgan, isn't it? Losing the ball, running into traffic, like you say. Again, it's being how tenacious. I don't think there was any intent there. You know. She's she taller, elbow. She's, she's taller, isn't it's, she? it's on this side, it's on her Galli's left her side of, of uh, Morgan, at, on the left side of Morgan, point, which was blocked was by the ball, player of Everton, so we really technically didn't see any any contact, all we saw was her reaction, because of the angle that they showed us, but she's up. Can't imagine Esme Morgan too happy with that decision. Everton fans, apart from the ones banging the drum in the far side. Uh, Ever yeah, I don't know why I want to say Evertonians, so but <laughs> that's that's something that came to mind. I don't know. I don't. Not sure Manchester what they're called. City. But we'll um, happy to see those mm, faces. Good crowd out there on this match for their uh, for their ladies uh, and, uh, continental home match. Side. You know, just Everton kick off nil. to host Man City. Manchester City one. Apparently, some of the ladies are going to be playing in the um, the gentlemen's stadiums, I guess. Um, Stanford Bridge, I think. Emirates. I think that's what I saw or heard when Chelsea came to t when Chelsea came to town against City. Uh, so hopefully, we do have a Manchester derby. Uh, I think this year's Manchester Derby is going to be. I think honestly, yeah, this Manchester Derby is going to be another another epic one. I feel uh, because of United's changes and additions and City's, you know, similar similar team but different spirits. Yeah, I think this Derby should be good. I think it's like new again, once again, bragging rights and hasn't it been like even like our like they've been drawing and I think the last time Caroline did Caroline seal it. Uh, did Caroline walk? Oh, who is it? Laura Curtis maybe now. Which I, I, mean, I know it was Caroline. She had scored the, the, the twice they played. I think Laura Curtis may have scored the latest one. But yeah. I I we saw United. I saw a little bit of United in the first match. For Manchester Here, City. Jill, I think is this our first corner facts? Sure and it's corner. on the ground. Okay. Trying to get past this park here, but I don't know. I wish that court, you have Bunny Shaw in the box and foul. you go for a a, a what? <laughs> you have Bunny Shaw in the box and y'all go for a, a pass on the ground. She's six foot, y'all. She's six foot. You put the ball in the box for Bunny. That's what you do. That's simple. That's simple. That and you challenge Everton to try to stop her. Uh, so I don't know about that that corner kick from that range, so uh, there. I don't think that was a wise the decision. Anyway. Um, they end up um, turning it over or getting fouled. Was it this time on Sunday that all the controversy started in Manchester City's draw with Chelsea? And the controversy we've seen tonight is Laura Bassett's choice of chocolate. <laughs> Yo, I was. <laughs> a bounty lover in the. It's so ironic. I think it was just a synchronicity. When I was um like trying to tweak settings in the uh, OBS, of course I was using this video, aka uh, this video, as my. Um, reference on how I would sound and stuff like that. And I, I've been looking at it for like an hour or two, like, you know, whatever I came up with, I was, I'm done, I'm ready to watch this match. 
And uh, when I was listening to, uh, they were interviewing Kemp and Kelly, and uh, which I'm loving the content. I'm loving the content from ManCity.com of the ladies. I love it. Keep it up. Keep it up. And y'all see that we have two commentators this season. I don't know who the guy, I don't know who the guy is, but Laura Bassett is she Team Blue now? Like I don't even know. First I saw her on the couch. First I saw her on the couch on Match Day Live One. Now she's commentating Man City's. Uh, um, continental come back. We'll uh, I don't know. So she out here doing her thing. So I shout out to her. And uh, but in general, they got two commentators because last year they only had one, and I I always got mad about that. I was like, it, there's no one that wants to commentate cities matches. There's no one in the world. That, okay, I'm happy that y'all figured it out. Uh, and um, you know, so a lot of improvements I'm seeing. City make with uh, the present presentation of the women, which is good because I feel like other teams do it better, and I felt like that all last season. Other teams promote their ladies better than City, and if you want to be a successful club, you have to be able to present the ladies at the highest and and in, in, in all platforms accessible for your football team to it to incite players and girls that are coming up and watching the game to come to your club and uh if you're not doing it the way other teams are doing it like arsenal get lots of love chelsea get lots of love if if you, and then you're playing the way you play is not up there you're not in the champions league you're behind so i'm happy city are making changes because Let's, you're too big of a club to not be having some of the best players play for your team and of course, get back to your winning ways, City. Uh, so everyone's, we, I can see the changes, and as an observer and as a City supporter, I, I approve. I approve of what I'm seeing so far. So keep up the good work. You know, keep, keep up the good work. But going back to the video that I was watching, the pregame, um, yo, you, it was so like quiet in there when Kelly was talking. You could hear her go. But I was like, fam, that's just a little too much quiet intenseness. And I was like, damn, yeah, like, y'all got it really, like, y'all want to keep well it, the words are crisp, City you should, I was like, we'll when I heard her go, I was like, damn, like, stories and some highlights of the documentary. Like, is she nervous? Like, why, why y'all her neck? Why y'all her neck like that? But I thought that was uh, funny. But, um, I just wanted to share that. Is, uh, share that. <laughs> Part of the PFA team of the year last year. So we have about three um, uh, uh, more minutes and then uh, additional time. Uh, uh, as well. so I feel like to come at half time. <clears throat> once again, to not City too Plus many chances created for City, Friday, the which came out but they haven't kept Friday. the. For me, they haven't stagnated Action the tempo, the and the Archer fact that also right I'm seeing side. different players City is really is very exciting um, lead, be because so we'll see something different. Because there's different players out there. It's not going to be the same. Get into Kelly. She's going to cross it in. Get it to him. She may try to blow, by, blow past you. You know, they're seeing different. It's different. I don't know. It's either they're gonna try to find Bunny. It's a lot more uh, options. You can try to go out to Mary, see if she can get across it, or she may face up and take a shot. You can find Bunny. Maybe hold up play. This park seems, you know, she already has a goal. Um, and just interested a little bit more to see what we have in that midfield with Laura Coombs, Dana, and maybe sometimes Julie. Sometimes uh, Morgan, sometimes uh, Thurston, just depending on how they're playing at there. This I wish I would see a little bit more, and I think this is where Everton is uh, finding some success in the midfield. Uh, okay, Bunny here, she's not really going to get the ball off her. But she just runs it to three people. Oh, it's blocked. Mary has the rebound. She's trying to face up. Oh, I don't know why she didn't take a shot. She went with her left. So, I mean, I, you saw that there was a girl in front of her. I thought she was going to curl it eventually. You just wondered if Bunny Shaw could finish what she started, picking the ball up. Yeah, and so Bunny here, like, all she really can do is run into the to, to the three players. There's really nowhere else to go. She didn't want to stop her momentum. Then she took a shot. Good save, though. From some Bronsons? Bronsons? You know, it's what it's right at you. Like she's coming right at me. You're like shit. She's coming right at me. Yeah, real shit. 
She's coming right at you. You gotta save that. She oh, saved it with her feet. It looked like half. it. Bunny Shaw uh, just showing what Bunny Shaw's all about there. Shrugging off two defenders. But the leg of Brosnan denied her. And it is Manchester City still with a 1 0 lead. Nice and we're about to here. find out how much, if any, stoppage time at the end of the first half. Four minutes at a time. time. We've had a couple of injuries. Good foul for, as, uh, okay. for City. Over goes uh, player in the centre circle. And here's Coombs. It was Ruby Mace upended then. Four additional. It looked like they're really chasing minutes. this second goal right before the break. Yeah, they'll know it's important, you know, because I think teams, when they get in at half time, have a regroup, solve some problems that are causing them or you know tidy up some issues communicate have a rest you know sometimes teams come out in the second half a different team you know with more injection of intensity and purpose so you know, like you say it'd be crucial for city to get a second goal maybe everton have their own ideas of a second goal in this game but it would be an equalizer for them it was bissell coming in from the right hand side Who's this? Number 11 that ran in Bazin. She kind of just ran into City players. Everton got to get, I mean, a little bit. I feel like you have something in the midfield. Just got to get a little bit more time in the ball, of course, but more patience. It is about to be halftime, so I guess they're trying to go for it um, to see if they can catch City slipping, which is, I, I don't know. Um, I would not, not try, so. Was waiting for that bit of space on the right hand side. Castellanos won that back, and I thought fairly, but referee had other ideas. Yeah, it's interesting. I think she just thought she used her arm too much. But it was a cheap one. Closing in on half time, some of the fans getting in their food orders nice and early. What are, what are you going for? A bounty, is it again? A, a Snickers? Questionable chocolate choice? <laughs> I'll be saving those Maltesers, stocking them up. As uh, Everton search for Van Havermet, but. Okay, well, I was like, one more counter attack Manchester here for City. City. Funny here. Okay, a couple cutbacks. She, she has uh, Laura, and she does find her. Good positioning. The shot. Ooh. I mean, it was at the goalkeeper. She made the goalkeeper make a save. But not in the area you would have wanted the goalkeeper. I feel like that was too easy for the goalkeeper to say. Good work for Money to get it from her right to her left to get it to Laura. But uh, maybe the finish was a little let down. But uh, good goalkeeping. You'll be ready. You know, sharpness is coming back the more minutes she's playing. Five goals for Laura Coombs last season. Former Arsenal and Chelsea player. I have a met in the middle. Into the final minute. It's similar to what Everton did. Uh, four. We didn't, just we didn't see if it was onside or off. Final few seconds. Here's Allison. We got 30 seconds here, Everton. Get a shot. Galli. Another shot on goal, maybe. VA. Sorensen with the cross that deflects and just allows to get away here. from her own penalty area. Coombs has a look forward, looks left, look right, goes down the middle. Too much on that for Bunny Short. And there goes the half oh, time right. It's halftime, y'all. Let me know how I sound in the audio. It's too high, too low, how, how are things? Uh, let me know. Jess Park gets her goal in the uh, 21st minute. Assist from Bunny Shaw. So, uh, not too shabby. Let me, uh... Fast forward a little bit.
Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on. A moment, but uh, quickly recalled over. Okay. Second half. Have Let's go. Uh, <clears throat> City up 1 0. Teams, but they'll know their job. They know how well the first half went. <laughs> And not a lot probably needs to be said other than a quick motivational speech. With the new... Yeah, certainly. So these are the same down kids down that we saw them play the West Ham United. Down and down and down I was not happy. But versus Everton, because they're blue, it's okay. But, blue. Blue. It's okay. It's but don't wear this jersey versus a team that has the same maroon colors. Come on. It just was dumb. It was dumb. Everton, as we get ready for the second half, doesn't look like there's any changes. Bjorn Finnegan and VA are their back three. But obviously using the wing backs as well. Wheeler and... Ollison joining in, Van Havenet, Galli, Sorensen, uh, Bissell and Ahern also in the rest of the Everton. All right, all right. Manchester City, McKeever is in goal. Very little to do for her in the first half. Cats Look, you can get your coffee Blackstad at the, the uh, Everton forward. Stadium. It's really cute right there on the left, the left, uh, the left, the left side and of the field. Uh, as the rest of the team. Uh, as for Everton, they have made a substitution at half time. The Manchester United we'll Lady Alyssa Hearn has gone off. Payne, and number 19, Payne coming in to uh, in Everton in the second changes. half. Ahead of tonight's so they game. make a half time so sub. She comes on. I guess they'll tell you on the broadcast. But um, in the Everton defense. City going left to right New in the did play white. And that's what it looks like to me, World but I, it may be a different you. color. Uh, the World Cup in Australia, and New Everton this going. Summer. Okay, and, uh, number Payne. 41. Uh, All right. For Everton, then, as Morgan just skips away from uh, oh. Sorensen. That. Oh, you know what, fam? Manchester City start the second half oh. in their white away kits. Snap. Maroon shorts with the white socks. They are left to right on our TV pictures. And there's an early booking at the start oh, of the man. second half. Got a yellow card to just park the goal score. Laura Bassett. Yeah, I think it was initially a really good spot by Steph Horton into Jess Park, controlled the ball well, but then she's overran it, tried to win back the ball, and I think it's the tackle from behind that maybe warrants a yellow card. Certainly catching the knee of Van Havermet as well. Well, Everton all in blue. Jess Park. The royal blue with the Toffees, who find themselves in a sticky situation at the start of this second half, are right to left. Well, I said about sweets and confectionery, the better. This Bunny shot into the box. Man, she rifles in the back of the net. Welcome back, what Bunny. She, in the first half. She's made up for at the start she gets the her goal. And Manchester City have got the perfect beginning to the second half. Kadija Shaw, her first right in the second half. To, right, right about the second half. Manchester she's, City. She's been working real hard trying to get the ball in her positioning. Finish, isn't it? I think it's a gift from Everton. Really so, Everton. Just turning the ball over. Well, just another bad poor, 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 poor getting out of their box. And Mary Fowler drops her in a dive here. She just doesn't really have to do too much. You know, look how happy she is. The so Shaw, the team, Bunny Shaw you know, to gets get her goal. Back on the score sheet. You know, he's exactly Assist what he wanted. from Fowler. Her first start of the season, her first goal of the season for Manchester City. City. The last 10 minutes against Chelsea on Sunday in that 1 1 draw, but in her first, hopefully close to full 90 minutes after a World Cup with Jamaica. Hmm. He's come back. Took about two minutes to, the to start Manchester the second City. half. Back amongst the goals. But that was a defensive Powering error. The they really, tried to play really finish from out from the back short. and Manchester City. I don't know. I, I was like, did she not see Mary Fowler there? Like, I don't know what she was thinking there. The Maybe she thought she could. Get, I'm guessing she just thought she could pass the ball to her. And um, and just to go back to my earlier point, uh, myself and Laura clashed. It didn't work out so well. The uh, sweets and chocolates at half time. Turns out. The uh, ex-England defender of Laura Bassett believes that mint is allowed in chocolate. <laughs> Not something I agree with. What we do agree with here, Laura, though, is Manchester City in complete control. Yeah, they really are. I mean, it's the perfect start to the second half, isn't it? Controlling the ball, moving it from side to side. You, side to side, you've got your second goal. They're looking for a third. It's Coombs. Kasparai, central position, looking to see if anything opened up for 
the uh, Dutch defender of Manchester City. Not quite, as Coombs just uses uh, Esme Morgan. City come from the left. Fowler Bright in the first half. What can she create here? Tries to find Bunny Shaw, who uh, tries to outmuscle uh, her opponent in Megan Finnegan, the Everton captain. Everton see it away, and it's out for it. throwing on the far side. 2 0 to Manchester City. Okay. Van Havermet back defending there for Everton, but I think they want to see her slightly further forward. And annoyingly, I think for Brian Sorensen, whatever he says at half time, the Everton manager, it's, it's gone out the window. Yeah, it's not about tactics or the way you hey, set the team up. Obviously, they have principles. They the want bench. to play out from the back, they want to technically move the ball through the thirds, but. You know, that's a real technical error, isn't it? An unforced error. Yes, there was pressure, but it wasn't, you know, real intense pressure just to turn the ball over in your final third. And then you're just gifting player world-class strikers like Bunny Shaw, you know, two touches to rifle the ball into the back of your net. It's just, it's just such a gift. Uh, plenty of games in the League Cup tonight. Just to say, the other game in, in uh, Manchester City's group, Leicester, who've started the season very well, are 2-1 up on Liverpool. It's just a four-team group for Manchester City. The uh, top spot will automatically reach the quarter-finals. And then across the five groups, it's the best runner-up. Across those five groups, only one other team from the group winners will join all the group winners, plus Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester United in the... And also on the field, you, you kind of get a little bit of... Um, Manchester City have won four times. It's no still a younger... It, yes, it's a younger a city. Back from so I do think... Even though they are uh, Everton are losing 2-0. Uh, and of course we already if you, you already know the result of the match. They Everton in a way the, Everton uh, when they did concede it, going forward the still they had a they kind of had a probably good chance to maybe yeah. get City, uh, you know, get a goal Both from City. But that second goal, they're, you know, like, very like I said, that's like coming out of the locker room, so like, okay, now we know we can get one back box. here. Um, but giving up that second goal so early, uh, like, it say. definitely... I don't see everything. Of course, I don't really see everything getting two goals, not alone, three... But I, I wish they didn't do that to, to, to challenge City a little bit more uh, going into the second half. Um, but sometimes that happens as football. And people make bad passes and interceptions happen and goals happen. Sure on the chase. Forced out wide to the right-hand side, the near side of Manchester City as we look at it. She goes down. Well, she'd pass the ball, but City here. keep it alive with Fowler. That's that loose ball going from Everton's block in the box, uh, out, of way, out of the way, and Jess Park will have it near side. Kasparite. Short. Oh, saw a little gap there, couldn't quite get it. Money says her, it was deflected. To, to Everton. Yeah, but. it's impressive now, the way she's found her rhythm. She's getting a half turn good touch and facing up as soon as possible and then any sight of goal it was a good decision by the referee I don't think it caught a deflection but still it's those you know when you see yeah once again board, like just that uh, that pass some, up some decision unfortunately goal, so it doesn't connect better. but you know it's just the you but know City, that they're in the flow they they're in the rhythm you know they're, they're back in themselves that's what you want to see from your striker yeah, rather than passing else, but responsibility oh, sometimes that's crazy too easily and too often to other players to continue the meal theme, she had a couple of starters in the first half. She's now onto the main course <laughs> here, uh, and she's ordered a couple of sides. When I saw the scoreline, I thought the goal came in a later date. I didn't know it came in the 57th minute. So what are you telling me? You, you, what are you telling me? You did after this match, City? I mean, after the fit, after the 47th minute, y'all didn't do nothing. Well, not quite. Van Havenet. Sloppy pass from Everton. I couldn't get another goal. Yeah, I'm killing him. Block shot. Back. Black shot. Away, They're it still in. Can't see. Corner to City. Wow. Wow. City will have the ball on this wow. Side. But look at all the possession that they're having against Everton. Park. She can easily push past defenders. 
but Everton are doing well. Y'all, y'all could have came out here and, 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 and ran it up on Everton. You know the pace, the intellect, and ran it up. The Man City players. Have Looks just like got uh, the maybe just Park coming off or what? No. Oh, well, Julie's taking the corner though. As has been routine for most of the night, she has often gone short though. This time, it's right to the is a fraction Money wide of the right hand slams her fist on the grass. Wish she was better on that one. She wishes. The she probably the does. The I, I don't know she thinking. But, uh, yeah, of course. That's what you do. When you have Bunny Shaw in the game, you Bunny put it in the box header, and aim for her. In the floor she knows she <laughs> Sample. Sample. It's like every time you have Winnie Renard in the box. Do you, you, you ever see France or or Olympic Leon not try to get her the header in the box? Like ne you never not see that happen. I don't know why some of these clubs be trying to be, you know, not doing the obvious. City. Come on. Let's get. And like I said, this is the season. I've already been pre. I've already been spoken. Now, this is rolled back to Champions Alexis League season for City. Um, I do believe they have the ability to make Champions so League this season. Um, and there's something I predicted here. Just ahead in the uh, beginning of the season. But the, uh, official on this I think this right is it. Do or die. Side. Do or die, Outside City. Given, free kick. <laughs> Until next season. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is definitely has to be it. Playing out from the back, here's Van Havermet. Um, because you know, I'm just I'm just thinking about the players. They don't get back into Champions League. Who wants who wants to stick around here? Who wants to stick around here? That's gonna be three. Oh, can't happen. Can't happen. They can't go without Champions League. Next. They they can't not be in the Champions League next season. It's just not good right now. We gotta capitalize on all the success that is happening in England, all the success nice happening in the women's game. And City can't make back to Champions League. Ooh. Then they got their men winning troubles. Right decision. Very difficult uh, shot. You saw it curling, but uh, it was always a little bit from a distance. But the good bluff from Steph and the she, and I got almost got a maybe he won't. Well, she hit it. She hit it nicely. But um, I don't think it was going on goal. Steph, are you all right? You kind of got like a gut check. Hey, she gonna breathe? You gonna breathe? All right. Take a couple moments. Of course, no Alex Greenwood. What well, well, I'm thinking is Alex Greenwood not gonna be able to make it for next match. Um, because we know she did get a yellow. Well, she got like, two yellow cards. So I was thinking, is it for the next? It has to be for the next, um, like next match in the league. Not because I don't. I wouldn't think that that would mean this match. Because so also that she's the one player I didn't see on the bench either. So there was a, actually more than uh, more than three, or oh, at least three players are missing from City, the full team. Uh, and Keating, who's Keating? Yeah, Keating's man. There's yeah, at least four. Like damn, Ke no Keatings, no Alex possession. Greenwood, no uh, Demi Stokes, and she still plays for City. But I'm pretty sure I saw her. Uh, and then uh, no Layla. So two def three defenders. Let me see, Alex Greenwood. Operating a little century. Layla. Um, Started the day at right back. Overlap continues. Yeah, three Blackstone defenders and a goalkeeper. Manchester City plays a little Jeez. slow ball into Missing. Fowler that works and Fowler. Fowler wants an trying option. to get something in back to Tardy. I like the counter transitions for City. Park. You know, Shaw's header over Bunny there. once again the power header a little Deserved too much goal, over. That movement, you know, from going from you defending third all the we're way gonna up. See, to the we're gonna see a lot of that in these last, in these next thirty or what? Most players on the oh team come on! Oh come, come on! That's what I say. In the final third. You know, oh come on! Shoot, that's what I say. Since y'all didn't score yeah, any more goals, no, I'll lend it. Get out of here! And again, just, just that final connection is oh. it. Three swaps. Oh, the Tony Duggan's play. coming in. She used to play for City Everton, Aurora Galley is one when I first started watching City. Up, but looking at those um, there, a name familiar to Manchester she has City moved fans. on. She went to Barcelona after that. 
Uh, Gally, Bissell, and all Now we got Tony off. Kelly coming in. And that's to enter the field of play. The girl Kelly. Is uh, number nine for Euro Everton. champion Kelly. So Tony Duggan started her career at Everton. The Capricorn, big Manchester Capricorn City Kelly. I don't mid. know what else to no. Tony Kelly. <laughs> 17, 41, and 11. So we should see here at Everton. As you can see, the Benetton and Hope are also on for the top nine. As for Manchester City, Bunny Shaw's coming off for Tony Kelly. Still preserving those legs, still getting back. Bunny got a goal, which is good. And she technically was injured coming back from the Canadian uh, and Jamaica matches. So it's good to see her back. Uh, scoring goals as per usual. Legs, I didn't expect Bunny not to do anything open, less. Again, um, and Kelly's coming in, so who you know, you is to up top? To any Looks like um, Jess Park, maybe. As the game starts, everyone starts to get to fatigue. Any unnecessary playing in the middle. Tackles. You want to keep her as healthy and as a wrapper in a bubble wrap as much as possible. Most definitely, she'll be crucial to Manchester City's uh, attack this season. But in the hour that she did play, and judging by the substitutes being made pretty much exactly on the hour mark you imagine that was always part of the game plan happy with with what you've seen yeah exactly i think she can be really happy okay. with, with her contribution again it, it takes you a while in. to work into the game but you know as soon as she found her feet the way she faced up defenders driving taking on two or three of them right, first really couple impressive. and then of course touches for kelly her goal was the second <laughs> of manchester city's tonight in their two nil lead that they currently have with half an hour to go It's Park, Casper I. Kelly now with her first few Kelly gets the, the double game. team ready. Ganged up upon okay, hey, Ma Mace here. I just, just pass, just, who takes the shot? Did anyone want to take a shot? Oh my goodness. A group of Evertonians is. Okay, Fowler here on the left. Fowler working hard on the left-hand side as she has all night. The Australian international is Esme Morgan on the halfway line. Sweeps it from one side of the centre circle to the next. Casper right. Uses Kelly. He will move in field as she so often does from the right hand side. Her beauty is that she can play right, left, and middle. Chloe Kelly. And Gareth Taylor has the ability to switch that up at any point. So. The defence never really know quite what they're handling. Yeah, it, it looks that way, doesn't it? Jess Parker's gone more central. Mary Fowler's still out on the left, and Chloe Kelly's gone to a usual position on the right. But, you know, they have the luxury that they can rotate and bring a different skill set to what different areas of the pitch. Casper keeps it in. And he goes for the silky skill of the back heel. And I think she can have a little smile about that. Dutch defender of Manchester City. I'm just keeping an eye on Sorensen just behind her. She might be back on the ball here, Casper. As she is. She loops in the cross to the edge of the penalty area. It's Kelly. Time out and player herself, Chloe Kelly. As Blackstad moves it out to the yeah, left. Yeah, nice playing more of a <clears throat> central. She's she's playing lower than a. Uh... Oh, that's a nice little oh, oh, there, there she is, the shot too. Okay. Well, it just set up nicely. Little for one. Ruby I was just talking about the little one too. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got that shot. Away. It was. It came through it Mace, which, which is cool. Um, good save from the goalkeeper. It, right at her. Challenge her. Make her. Make her catch it. Oh, so we get the foul here. I mean. Good play. Going back to Ruby Mate, I think she's had a really consistent, solid job in there tonight, hasn't she? She's understood her role, and like you say, she's yeah, got just right at shot. on target, on target. Just opened Goal up keeper. for her, but she has. She's been really consistent, okay. understood her role in that in that deep line midfield, keeping the ball moving, always being available to players. Spent the second half of last season on loan at Leicester City. Ruby Mates, who was still two on up on Liverpool, by the way, in Manchester City's. A group game, other group game, I should say. Okay, Kelly, Kelly keeps it on ground to Dana here. Castellanos. Okay, I think we get a corner. Cross blocked, it will be a Manchester City corner. So from free kick to corner kick, Chloe Kelly's on it again. It's the 
the city for a lot of these free here. kicks. Um, Singing Singing city haven't really had too many, but Kelly with the corner. I would say 50 50, well, maybe not 50 50, but 60 40. They, they decided here. to keep it on the ground, so and they can do it again. Using Park back through to Kelly. I don't know so who that it was, but trickery. Ooh. There. And just over. That Julie. Julie Blackstad getting up there effort. on the right Lillian side, on the left side, maybe. Manchester City. No, really well worked corner. You Another know, header coming back on, side, on target. A different whip, a different oh. angle on the cross. Well, I guess Blackstad's got the just, beating I was, of the That was better. That was, that, was, that, was, that was closer no, than some of Bunny's too tries. Over the ball too much, but that was a really well worked corner, probably one of the best of the night. Uh, I should say attempts. Well, attempts on goal. City so have probably have like when you look at the goal down. stats, sh shots on goal. They probably have like at least five shots on goal. Probably five shots. I mean, they shot the ball a lot. At least uh, you know I think more, you know, more than Everton, of course. Um, I wish Everton could possess a little bit or just have a little bit more aggressive defense. But City not like. League rather than the doing the most the either, you know. First win of the season, I don't feel like I don't feel like they're Robin making Leicester. it that hard for Everton, in but the WSL Leicester most recently at the weekend, a one nil defeat. That's just me. They were head against Brighton in the opening weekend, but Brighton came from behind and won two one. They've got the small matter of the Merseyside derby as well the weekend against Liverpool, which will be really tough. Especially with how Liverpool have started as well. Although Liverpool are two one down to Leicester at the moment. At Anfield that game as well, so big atmosphere expected on Merseyside. Can't wait for the derbies at Old Trafford and the Etihad this campaign as uh, Brosnan came well out of a goal there as Manchester City sent the ball long and Chloe Kelly might have hoped a little mix up between Brosnan and VA, but it didn't happen and Everton saw it out for a throw in. Yeah, I think defenders, when, when you know you're being pressurised by Chloe Kelly, Whatever you do with the ball, it's got to be clean, it's got to be accurate, and she certainly causes a lot of panic in defenders. The Everton defenders and goalkeepers, the decision makers got to be precise. Because Chloe Kelly's so good at pressing, she's so quick, so tenacious, she understands, she reads trigger cues really well. Going in search of part this time, he drops the shoulder. Trying to get past uh, Finnegan, but Brosnan alert to it. Oh man. Oh man. I can't believe they did this to us. <clears throat> City. Don't don't look interested in going for another goal. Manchester City their captain. <laughs> Just want to pass the ball to each other, and I mean they—I they, feel like they did that really good in the first match, even against Chelsea, even though they were down a player, and they were down. Oh well, that's right. Both City's matches—they were down a player for some time, not a lot of time, but just for some times. So this this will be the first match that all nine, all eleven players will complete the match if, if they do. so technically good, so comfortable on the ball. You know, practice it a lot, get their body shape right. That you know they. So maybe they just needed. Um, position, as we like to I would see, say. Like to call it, and maybe they're, they're still playing like ten players at the time. To to. <clears throat> but I'm kind of upset that. Uh, Use his mace then in the middle. We're not seeing in a little bit more assertiveness to go for another goal. Especially how much time they had left on the clock. Get him round the defence. It's another sloppy moment from Everton, <coughs> and the keepers. Ruby Mace, first shot. Oh, what a bar! But with some range, she's got some, she's got, got some power. She's got some stiff shot, shot right there. I like it. One. Over the bar, no real threat made to Brosnan, who saw it all the way, but fancies a little effort tonight. Yeah, she certainly makes those shots look easy, though, doesn't she? She's still quite far out, and just effortless power that she gets into the ball and strikes so cleanly. Casper I was never giving that ball up in the chase with Lucy Hope there in the Everton left back position. It goes out of play for a toffee's throw, but it was a good battle there. From that throw in Everton, give it away. Kelly. Here's Kelly. 
I got a deflection to Park. Ah, Castellanos just passed it back with no effort. No effort! Okay, okay. Now, I, like, her should go for a shot. She can go for a shot, you know. Okay. Everton. Oh, that hits Everton. Duggan's Could back in her foot. Ball in on the left but Everton did go aggressive. They, they did make some uh, offensive subs. To run past her so. Slowed up. It clicked her heels in. Well, the attack broke down pretty quickly. That's a, that's a waste and a shame for Everton. Yeah, I think if Everton can get Hannah Benison more on the ball, she's, you know, can pick up her visions very good. She can pick out passes. Duggan again. Duggan here to pushes it up. For Everton. For 14. This time with Sorensen. Sorensen. away past the Manchester City defence, but once the possession. Everton finally gets some play on the ball. They haven't really had possession like that. So. Everton on the attack. That's a bummer, too. Because they probably would have, you know. I mean, it would be a different, from the right -hand like, side. since you don't want to go for third goal, but at least now give Everton some time on the ball. So we can see, at least see what they got going on, if they can create something, you know. But Everton haven't, they haven't really pressed for the ball like that. They kind of let City play. No, and I mean, I feel like with the subs, I mean. And it's only been, uh, what is it, three matches? Three matches for them? Two? You know, everyone should be, I don't know how their uh, injuries are. Hopefully they have a healthy squad to start the season. Just a little, you know, a little rusty. A little rusty. Trying to get... I would just say, trying to find your formula. A little bit of pressure up to the halfway line. Everton regain the control with the... V8. Not too sure if they had a home or away match. Yeah, he's been quite influential tonight. The, I guess I can look it up. But second season now with uh, Everton. The 20 minutes left here. Well. We had a city goal in the we'll 21st minute from Jess Nielsen. Park after you know Bunny uh, gets a good pass side. from uh, Kirsten. So a player and a um, Niels will certainly know well and. And a good cross from sure for Bobby and, and uh, well. a lovely finish from Park. I felt with her left foot, like she was in the air. She was like, it was like she yeah, skipped in there. She hit it like, she's like she, was, she hit it with her like her. Um... Man, I don't know. She hit it with the side of her foot. Oh, good shot! Is that just Park again. That's a save from the Everton goalkeeper from the shot on the edge of the penalty. Man, goalkeepers been catching these like straight on, like no pressure. Part there, but she made a save. She made the first save against Bunny, I think, on the ground. Um, that shot was pretty powerful. Uh, looked like it. She, she caught it pretty easily. And then also, we had the um, 47 minute goal from this is right, literally, it was two minutes after. Uh, the second half kicked off. Um, City scored with uh, Mary Fowler. Mary Fowler, how did she score? She's gonna come on for the no, not Mary Fowler, Buddy Shaw, Buddy Shaw. It was a turnover in the in the defensive area for Everton. Just easy, easy goal. It was only like three passes. So we have um, Kennedy. <laughs> Kennedy coming in, Alexandria coming in, Jill coming in. Okay, getting some of those starters back in there for the final 20. Really positive on the ball and making things happen. Jill, our girl Jill. She's a citizen now. She's a citizen now. She's no longer an Arsenal player. She's a, or a Wolfsburg player. She's a citizen. And uh, Jill Rod replaces uh, Laura Manchester Coons City. Mary Manchester Fowler. City's she did well. I think she did well. She uh, she she had the assist. Uh, so she'll be happy. Let's see how that impacts in the final one of the assists. The game. Manchester City in their white away shirts for left to right. Kelly did not make half. that run. Oh. Kelly and uh, Castellanos didn't quite combine on the near side then. So Everton. So he leaves. Everton in royal blue from right to And also, the man, I didn't even see Manchester Hemp City wasn't City. Hemp oh. wasn't even available either it's on this well match. Well, here's Everton. Here's Hope. Trying to provide Everton with a little Ooh, bit of hope, but that shot's over. Hint, hint is not even side. here either. Oh, no. I don't even have it written down effort. on the. Uh... Manchester City have a goal kick. 
Yeah, good positive spell for Everton. Resting. Good link-up play, up back through, you know, finding those spaces. Again, go forward with a little bit more pace and Verva rather than just, you know, passing with patience. You know, they've got into the areas and again, Sorensen you know, has a really hard technique, but she was unmarked. So again, it's another warning for City. Now, Man, okay. look at the Sam Park. I guess what she did. Now Park here. Finds Kelly. Entire game so far. A lot of uh, blue Everton. Let's go for the shot in the near post. Ambitious and that's a little bit selfish, but confidence of what she can. And do it must be chilly because so I seen Kelly isn't bit. the only player with the long He's sleeves. To criticize Chloe Kelly, perhaps could have done better there though. That's poor from Everton. That'll gift it back to Manchester City. It's bright. Collecting it on the near side touchline. Here's Castellanos. I would say, is the whole team? Is the whole team wearing sleeves for City? And only like not everyone for Everton is wearing sleeves because I think some of the people on the black line. From an yeah, like number seven, number eight, they're not, they're not wearing sleeves. Like so some of the ladies are wearing sleeves, so it may be a little chilly exactly. for them, you know, a little bit. When you're playing some of them got gloves on, like this one. Like she got some gloves on. The, ball for long periods, they're so technically good. You know the ones that are, one that are no uh, game, no and, sleeves, and the savage. Is that is that you have to take them. No sleeves. Looks like uh, Kirsten you know, lost her you, shoe. You she, she's got it though. Can maybe defend got the orange, the orange ball, shoes. It is a lot of pressure to know that when you get that opportunity, it has to count. Casper oh. giving the boot there by Wheeler. Literally, after Wheeler trod on the boot, the boot came off. So. Handed back to the Dutch defender of Manchester City. 14 minutes left. Oh, as uh, Wheeler tries to steal in there from a little bit of loose play from Manchester City. Uh, covered it well. Horton. Oh, this is similar to how Everton uh, conceded their second. Sorensen, similar. Past the experienced England international of Steph Horton. Still haven't given it, cleared away given it back. By Manchester City to the midway point of their own half. Here is uh, VA. That kill comes from Sorensen. Hope just nicks in there. This is Battles Hope here fighting for it. It's the source and it's blocked. With the first time cross that is blocked Everton off by throwing. Castellanos and it will be an Everton throwing on this near side. Suddenly the home side finding a little bit of something and they get away free on the right. Chance to get across the in. Cross. In Everything she's post. wide open. Oh, Sandy with a big save. Diving header from Lucy Hope and oh, wow. Well done. Yo, she was open. She went, of course, I think they say, you know, put the ball back where it came from. She did. And Sandy was there. She put it like near, near. If she put it like to the post near side, man, she would have finished. She would have scored. Wow. I don't know if she would have though, but damn, Sandy with the big save. Keeping the net clean. I mean, but good a chance for Everton. Like to see it. Damn, those challenges are coming in quick. The first proper save, and it's a save that probably she had no it's right to make. You know, she's traveling the other way, managed to stick out a leg, the ball going the opposite way. Unbelievable save. Brilliant stuff from Manchester City's goalkeeper tonight. Something I'm sure her goalkeeper's union on the bench will be proud of in Ellie Roebuck and Kiara Keating, who are watching on. Kiara Keating pulled off her own brilliant save towards the end of the game in added time on Everton. Sunday against Everton Chelsea. Goal. Unfortunately, the aftermath resulted in a Chelsea goal, but when down to nine, Kiara Keating gave it everything in those final Trying to create something with, with the, the little, little ball. Yeah, I wish they showed Robles some of the stats. Really um, union. Probably did at halftime, you know, but I'm uh, fast but they're such a tight knit group and, and what young... You know, the, those three goals Kelly here are with her really cross with so uh, much talent to grow kind of bounces on the, the outside of the game. penalty box 
Yeah, Roebuck 20. Cross to the outside of the field to box. There you go. Akiva 25 and Keating just 19 years old. On, it's yeah. a bright future ahead right for Manchester there. City, whoever gets that number one spot. Casper Wright. Manchester City just aware, perhaps, of Everton substitutions, which have made them more attacking, providing something that maybe a third goal will really seal the deal. Yeah, I think so. I think they're you know, pressing with a little bit more intensity, aren't they? Dueling a little bit more, the tackles. Game opening up as well as Castellanos feeds in Kelly. She's going to blast that right across. It might come free here for the shot, which does it hit the post, I think, in the end from Jill Rod. Scored on her debut in the WSL and very nearly in the League Cup as well there. Looking for the bottom left-hand corner. Ball ran free to her after Kelly's cross on the right-hand side. And inches away, fractions away from giving Manchester City that third goal that we so talked about. Yeah, she just oozes class in those positions, top of the box. She uses class. She always looks like she's got time. She knows exactly where she wants to put the ball. It was hard to see on that angle whether Brosnan got a touch, but it certainly hit the post it was so close Castellanos wins Manchester City at corner kick a throw on the right by Chloe Kelly ten minutes to go Everton nil Manchester City two are we going to get a second look at this Jill Rod shot I think we are she just has a touch she knows her body shape her head's already down and it is it's a fine save by Brosnan fingertip save onto the post both goalkeepers doing their thing as Kelly sends another powerful cross in from the corner on the right-hand side. So first McKeever. And then Brosnan. Could have had two goals in the space of as many minutes. Just okay, no goal no scored. Instead. Everton nil, Manchester City 2. There goal scored. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Uh, make sure you are going to subscribe to Anita's joint. Andrew now on the you too. Manchester City as well. Uh -huh. Abby over there. Abby over there. I think we got some uh, force. Wait, wait. I'm trying to think. I know it's not international break just yet. I think we have international break next weekend, maybe. To the right hand side is. But um, Claire Wheeler. It is the decision day for you in the Bissau's coming up. Benison could be in here on the Used right hand side. The, the flag will stay four? down. Everyone Benison plays at four. What the fuck is this? Needs to find her options. No, ah, uh, fam. They they play it right. Area well by Alexandria. <laughs> side touch line, but she has found a. They play it right. Everyone plays at four on decision day. I would imagine. Well, you know who I'm watching. So She'll recognize from her well, Manchester City days. Got uh, all rain. Five, six years since she left. The Play club. Chicago Red Stars. North Carolina Courage so playing the Washington Spirit. Tonight, San Diego City. Wave playing Racing Louisville. Portland Thorns North playing Everton. Angel City. Gotham FC no playing Casey Current. And, uh, and Orlando Pride playing play Houston Dash. Yeah, they're playing some good balls, Everton, aren't they? Over the top. That's crazy. You know, I, did, I, I know they were talking about this today, but I didn't think all matches were going to be at 4 o'clock on Sunday. You know, it's just a miscontrol, isn't it? Or the connection or the decision making, taking too slow. Alexandri doing some really good patient defending, not diving in, just shepherding into areas that, you know, become less dangerous. All right, City play. City play top of the morning at 7 a.m. City play at home. So Chelsea, whoa, 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 whoa. Chelsea play tomorrow at West Ham. Uh, versus West Ham. First to react on the edge of the penalty area there, it couldn't be. I forgot tomorrow's the, the weekend. The I, for, again, I, get my, I don't know. Right, whatever. Their goalkeeper Courtney Brosnan into the final seven minutes in Manchester City, leading two nil. City just have to be careful so, because an Everton goal now. Just well, Chelsea playing West Ham. United play Leicester again, City. Manchester City, from one, Manchester man, City play Bristol City. Ah, Arsenal play Aston Villa, Brighton Hove and Alvin plays Tottenham, and Liverpool plays Everton, Evertonian. Okay, let me see the standings. Where are Manchester, where's Manchester United at? Who do they play? Ah, Manchester United, that's the same. 
Well. Well. Getting closer and closer to those. Uh, That's interesting. Winter nights. Clock go back at the end of this month. Nice will draw in. Fine, fine. We're in the final ten so minutes here. Can create a magic to atmosphere. City, whatever team. Crowd still singing there City in the corner. Do their bit to huh. Try and drown out that drum. A rendition of Blue Moon. Evening to our fellow press counterparts there as well. We can see you working hard. Yeah, man. That's all we got. That's all we got. Five minutes to go. Manchester City leading this one 2 0 in their opening group stage game of the 23 24 League Cup, a trophy they won back. As Gareth Taylor goes in search of silverware again as Manchester City manager. Trophyless last season. This was his first trophy as Manchester City manager a couple of years ago, 18 months ago. Is Julie? Julie's getting the full 90. There's a lot of positivity in and around Manchester City. Doing a lot of subs. And so Andrew Dahl didn't come off the bench. Keating's didn't achieve. come off the bench. Oh, Keating's was there. Oops. Oh, so... Um, the only person, only mid um, infield player that didn't come off the bench was uh, Angel Doll. Then our two goalkeepers Kelly. stayed there. To Rod on the right hand side. Jill looking for Nana. Across the block. Wrestle for it, battle for it, try and get the shot away. She wins a corner for her side. Really good link up play connections and patience. They know that there's so many Everton defenders waiting in the the box it's about trying to probe trying to be precise trying to wait for that opportunity to get your shot off okay good defending by Finnegan on Castellanos Chloe Kelly caused problems with her last corner and she do from this one quick flick of the right arm that's a good catch by Courtney Brosnan on her goal line. She'll want to try and start things off quickly for Everton by bowling it out towards the far side. Here's Sorensen. Trying to give us that grandstand finish, but it's really a Manchester City side that have controlled this, and that's just going to trickle over towards this touchline. It is kept in by VA. The touch is subsequently heavy from Hope and Hope fading away from Everton now with the clock running down, two and a half minutes or so left of the 90 minutes. Castellanos looks in a little bit of discomfort there with her neck. Yeah, she's really struggling. Manchester City with Casper, I just clear the ball out. I think he's going to bring on the physios here. on the basis of the Manchester City fans but largely Laura will be happy with the night's work yeah I think so I think like you say apart from the last couple of stairs, scares the, the, the Sandy McKeever wonderful save you know it's just been control I think it could have been three or four goals you know had there been a little bit more clinical but there's certainly created chances look so dangerous from wide areas especially the first half was very free-flowing, one-sided, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's a, it's, I'll say, it's, it's a night, it was like a 7 o'clock match and it's, it's cool out there, you know, it's pretty chilly. Seeing people with their coats on and stuff. Today was, yeah, I will, I, it was, it, the sun came out today where I was, but it was, you know, the last couple of days, uh, it, as we're entering fall, it was getting a little cooler, which is a relief from the summer here. Uh, so, I'm not sure how summer weather is over there. 
there where Everton people be at. But um, with all respect to to Everton and yeah, Bristol City, it's cooler than it was in the summer. That's for sure. So perfect with you have to be Jill Scott in the crowd there with Demi Stokes, a couple of the. Well, past and present Manchester City stars there enjoying uh, tonight's performance, no doubt. But with all respect to Everton... Oh, it was uh, Dave City, that was down. What the fuck? Are, are these the kind of... Because you have to be so perfect against Chelsea and the like. Damn. Are these the chances when you do have such control? Hey, let see how she got hit. Test things out, try things out. Yeah, I think so. And She's going to come off too. Oh, well, for Angel now. So they, everyone, you know, get, everyone got on to the match, it looks like. Besides the goalkeepers. In the league. You know, it all, you're so, always to score more goals, to be more of such an attacking threat, to be clinical, to the players that got the full edge. looks like our um, you know, sometimes in some parts of the seasons it's free flow, Mace, it comes natural. Sometimes you Julie, really have to work at it, but uh, you know, that, how, well, how important I still think Kirsten's there, be. so it's, it's good to see it. I think. Well, you know, three let me just make sure. Only the top one is guaranteed. Yeah, flip quarter final place, not too far away from. Finding out just how much longer we'll play here at Walton Hall Park. Five minutes to go then. Jess Park as well. Four, four, nine in We're going to get it to Kelly. From and Everton. See it clear. For now, Shoot. at least. Five additional minutes. Another item from the Everton songbook being given by the fans. Here's Kelly. Maybe wants to uh, make up from it. Oh, also, man, how, man, I, I missed Hasegawa. I didn't even see her on the bench. Jeez. I missed mean, I mean, so many players. A little pull on the shirt that Manchester City survived there from giving away a foul, perhaps. Sourcing? Claire Wheeler. Here's Sorensen she down the left. Up against Horton. It's a it's shoulder bar to the City captain. In the corner. That will give Everton a rare corner in this game, right in front of the banner that says Super Steph. She used her super strength there. <laughs> Yeah, she did well because I think initially Torrenson had got round her, but to recover and make sure she didn't get the crosses crossing was good defending. So in the final few moments, Everton have a corner and they're packing the six-yard box. Sandy McKeever complaining she's got absolutely nowhere to go with that one. Tony Duggan standing right in front of the Manchester City goalkeeper. All right. Corner comes in then from this near side. The Everton's left. corner. Headed away as it loops back in the towards box. the goal line. Everton have gained possession back out of the box. Cross comes Cross the back, the header across. The Ooh. The, they want an offside City. flag. City. Everton has squeezed it home. The most delicate of headers. Well, that's Tony Duggan. Swear. And it's swear is Tony Duncan Swear. Not surprised though. Let's see. I, you, uh, I mean, so City too. clear the first corner, and it Payne crosses it back in. It's Tony Duncan. She's hella onside. Look like she looks like she hella onside. Tony Duncan gets a 90 plus third stoppage time additional goal. Maybe they can go and get that two goal advantage Tony back. Tony Duggan, big Tony Duggan. Okay. So it's 2 1 Everton, Manchester Kelly. City. City look to get that two goal cut. Ah, uh, the former Manchester City, City can see Duggan scoring against late, her late, side. late, late, late. Just like Jess Park did in the first half, Tony Duggan with a flick header. And this was the Kelly assist from Payne. Cover comes from VA. And it's a Manchester City corner. Oh, it's interesting. All right. Right. City up, hasn't it? You know, to go straight back on the attack. Chloe Kelly. That goalkeeper made some sharper, saves today, making too. Better decisions. We'll have to stop this one. 
Kelly, not not in a rush to take Manchester the corner. City. <laughs> Leading by two goals to one into the final 90 seconds of the game. If you had City Plus, no rush and keep some on ground. Just park this. here. They keep it. Final few moments now. If you subscribe, if you've already got it, and you're watching the action tonight. Throw in City. Sit tightly. 60 seconds left, Manchester City leading their opening group stage game of the 23-24 League Cup by two goals to one. But they've got the ball, more importantly, where they want it, deep in Everton's half. Mm. Kennedy. It's Kelly. Kelly in on the right-hand side, Everton across to cover with VA again. She has been, in a tough night for Everton, she's been impressive. Yeah, she All has, right. she's covered well, she's made tackles, interceptions, blocks, she reads Ooh. the game really well and understands where to be in defending, where the dangerous ball's coming from or the player, you know, she makes really good defending decisions. In the corner with Kelly, Manchester City, no, they're nearly there, angled up. Maybe one final moment. Park. Rawls. Jill's going to take the last shot. shot. Oh wow! Just wide too. Catch the goalkeeper. Flat foot. That was nice. That snuck in there. Middle of the D. She looked for the bottom right-hand corner. Another player and loses her shoe. The right-hand post. It's got the five additional so minutes played. Body shape. And to add that disguise on, I think I, I was expecting her to go the other corner, and she just disguises. We did have that player go down though, but Everton still, they got the goal, they can get one more. Strong, though, but a long ball will bounce gratefully into the hands of Sandy McKeever inside her penalty area. She'll well, well, easy away. catch Sandy. She'll oh, that's even. it. Nothing else the called goal, for it. Because the full time whistle goes. See what they a said. Tighter on the scoreline than perhaps the performance suggests. Manchester City with a goal in each half, firstly through Jess Park and then right at the start of the second half, a first goal of the season for Khadija Bunny Short. Everton made it nervy at the end. Their former player, Manchester City, Tony Duggan, with a little deft header into the far corner. But City hold on and they start the group stage of the League Cup with a win. Everton 1, Manchester City 2. Let's go! Well, anyways, thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anita's joint. Hashtag extended joint. Uh, it's your girl Anita flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one, alright? See you later.